gaze in the glass. There were so many things on my mind. Laura's disappearance worried me more than I had shown. I thought maybe it had been the wrong call to let her go to that party. In hindsight, it probably wouldn't have mattered. And then there was Cox. I was curious about his explanation as to why he had opened fire on us. But mostly, I was glad that I hadn't had to shoot him.
As soon as the woman disappeared into the night, my facade slipped and I nearly collapsed on the balcony floor. I took out my cell with shaking hands and tapped on Laura's face and my contacts. Maybe. Maybe. She didn't pick up. I resisted the urge to call Catherine next. I couldn't just tell her about what had happened. She knocked on my door in the early morning, but I didn't open. I tried to decide on a course of action, but I couldn't concentrate. My mind alternated between trying to remember my last conversation with Laura and conjuring up horrible images of her tied to a chair in some basement. Sometime later, my alarm rang. I got up to go to work, not sure if I was ready to talk to Kat. I must have stood outside her apartment for a few minutes when I finally made a decision. Thank you. 